So this problem is patterned after problem 10 in uh, the exam. So what we're going to do is explore a method uh, from 2000 BC that the Babylonians used to solve equations by using tables of values. So uh, they look at, in this method, they look at tables that include the values y cubed plus y squared for uh, different values of y's. So uh, here's how this method goes. So we want to use it to solve equations that look like ax cubed plus bx squared plus c. So that's the only method that this particular, our only equation that this particular method applies to. So then next we're going to multiply each side by a squared over b cubed. So if we multiply this first term times uh, the a squared over b cubed, we'll get a squared times a is a cubed. We've got an x cubed and denominator b cubed. And we're going to multiply that here and here and then also on the right hand side. So a squared b x squared and then on the bottom b cubed. Well, one of these b's will cancel that b out, so we're left with a squared x squared on top and just b squared on the bottom. And then a squared over b cubed times c, a squared c over b cubed. So that's just multiplying through. And then notice everything here is cubed. a cubed, x cubed, b cubed. Well, that's the same as ax over b quantity cubed. Here, everything is squared. a squared, x squared, b squared. That's the same as ax over b quantity squared. So, so it's just rewriting those cubes and squares. So then what they would do is they would find the right-hand side here of this um, rewritten equation, this manipulated equation, find that a squared over c in the y cubed plus y squared column of the table. And then uh, they knew then that the corresponding y value that that came from was uh, ax over b, right? Because this is y cubed plus y squared on the left hand side. So they look, they find the y value in the table it came from, that's ax over b. So if y is equal to ax over b, that is an a, and uh, we want to find x, then we're just going to take and multiply both sides by b over a. A's cancel, B's cancel, X is left here is BY over A, right there. So that's how we find our final X. So let me show you an example here and hopefully this will make some sense. So it's pretty clever, some of the, some of the um, methods that they came up to solve these equations. So we're first going to calculate Y cubed plus Y squared for Y is 1 to 5. So we're going to make a table here, y, and then y cubed plus y squared. So y could be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Um, so 1 cubed plus 1 squared, that's 2. Uh, 2 cubed plus 2 squared, so that's 8 and 4, 12. 3 cubed plus 3 squared, so that's 27 and 9, 36. 4 cubed plus 4 squared, so 4 cubed is 64 and 16 is 80. And then 5 cubed plus 5 squared. 5 cubed is 125, 5 squared is 25, that's 150. So that's part A is just filling in that table. And then part B, they want us to use the method to actually solve this equation. So there our A value is equal to 2, our B value is equal to 5, and our value of C is equal to 2500. Right? A, B, and C. So that's because we are solving equations that have this general form. So a, b, c. So what we do is we look for a squared c over b cubed in the table, the right hand side of the table. So let's go ahead and compute that quantity. So we compute a squared 
c over b cubed. So that's going to be 2 squared times our c is 2,500. And then divide by b cubed, 5 cubed. So that's going to be uh, 4 times 2,500. And then we are dividing by 5 cubed is 125. So 250 would go into here um, 10 times. So 125 is going to go in 20 times. And then 4 times 20 is 80. You can double check that in the calculator if you want. So then we find that 80 in the right hand side of the table. And we see it right there. And so the value that that comes from is 4. So our y is equal to 4. And then what is our y value? Well, the y value is ax over b. So our x value that it comes from is by over a. So we know our y value. We know a and b. So now we can go ahead and find the x value, which is the solution. So then our x here is going to be b, which is 5, times our y right there, 4, and then divide by a, which is 2. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 10 is the solution to that equation. And then you can double check that here. So 2x cubed, so 2 times 10 cubed plus uh, 5 times x squared, so 5 times 10 squared. And then what does that equal? Well, 10 cubed is 1,000, so 2 times 1,000, 2,000. 10 squared is 100, 5 times 100, 500. So 2,000 plus 500, sure enough, 2,500. So 10 is the solution uh, to that equation from this Babylonian method. Now they said uh, use methods from the chapter to verify your solution. Um, so we could have used you know, synthetic substitution here if we brought this over on the left hand side as a negative. Uh, but that's fine. Just plug in and check your answer.